Our sailors and Marines have been in the community giving back. We've been telling you about this all week. It's all part of Fleet Week. Today they spent their morning at Under Armour House with Free State Challenge Academy. Amy Kawada shares what they were up to. It might look like just a normal training session. Keep your knees straight. But it's an opportunity for the Navy and Marines to collaborate and make connections within the community during Fleet Week. <laughs> Building that friendship, that connection, that mentorship, and of course having fun and doing just building camaraderie. Just to know that they can serve the country and that it's fun, uh, that we're uh, normal people just like they are, and that they can achieve their goals. Saturday, about 75 sailors and Marines spent their morning at the Under Armour House in Baltimore. Physical training with the cadets at Free State Challenge Academy. We all doing together, having fun, doing good things, positive things, things I like to do. And it's helping me grow more as a person, so I like doing it. Free State Challenge Academy is a program operated by the Maryland National Guard, providing at risk 16 to 18 year olds in the state a second chance at an education and life. It gives them an opportunity to kind of reset um, and, and just learn and get a, a different perspective in life and know that there is something more than whatever they've um, been exposed to. It's just good, good for them to actually get to see Navy, get to see Marine. This gives them an opportunity to see what could be. For U.S. Marine Corps Lieutenant General Brian Kavanaugh, this event is one he holds close to his heart. I grew up here, went to Poly, uh, went to Naval Academy as well. So just uh, being connected with the uh, Navy and the Marine Corps uh, for the community, this is where we get our people yeah. and to uh, get back in the community is important. And our sailors and Marines will be out and about throughout the weekend right here in Baltimore. So make sure you keep an eye out for them at the Fleet Week Festival. For now, I'm Amy Kawada reporting for WJZ.